What are you willing to sacrifice for God? What are you willing to give up to be, to show him that you are a hundred percent devoted? Or do you believe that you don't necessarily need to sacrifice anything um, to be a follower of Christ or to have a better relationship with God, that it's all one way? I mean, wouldn't that be nice? There's a quote by uh, C.S. Lewis where he talks about that. We don't, we don't want a God so much as we want a grandfather in heaven who's just nice and, you know, gives us whatever we want, um, that we don't really have to do anything in our part. But when you sacrifice, like take, for example, being a mother, how much you sacrifice for your children, then your love grows for them. And wouldn't that be the same for God? That um, when we sacrifice for him, that our love will grow more. And maybe, maybe you haven't been asked to sacrifice anything or, you know, it's more probably in your personal, in your own personal life. Um, does something keep you from being close uh, to God? Is there something that keeps you from being away? Uh, I use the example of, um, there was a time in my life where I was a fitness instructor, but um, I just was working out all the time because not only was I an instructor, but then I was, you know, I was young. <laughs> I was young, and so I was, I was working out all the time. And a good, wise friend who was older than me, she goes, do you give as much time to God as you give to your body? Like, you know, do you give as much time to your spiritual growth as you do to your physical or, you know? And I realized that I didn't, that I didn't give it equal time. And so I needed to sacrifice. Um, some of the time I was spending on my physical appearance to work on my spiritual. And so those are kind of things that, you know, that maybe you have to sacrifice and it's a hundred percent up to you and you know yourself. And I, I do believe some people have to, to, to sacrifice other things and, and it's not all the same. Um, you know, you're a child of God. He knows you. He knows what will help you to become a better person. And maybe sometimes that is, um, sacrificing things that we love. But as you look to the Bible and one of the number one stories that comes to me about sacrifice was or is the story of Abraham and Isaac. And um, as you read that story, um, as you really, really read it and think about it and try to imagine being in Abraham and Sarah's shoes and even Isaac's, and you look at um, how, you know, they, God promised them a son and they laughed, you know, because of their old age, that won't, that will never happen. And it did. And so you imagine the joy, the joy that came to them that here was this miracle child. Here was this, this amazing gift from God. And then Abraham was asked to take and sacrifice him. And I can't even imagine the anguish or the, there's no way that Abraham just, okay, I'll go and do that. You know, thinking, facing his wife and having to actually do that. But the thing was, he was willing to go and do it. And I don't know how long they journeyed. I'm sure some scholar somewhere knows how long they journeyed to go build the altar. And everything try to think about what was going through Abraham's mind. Like, I'm so confused. Why would you ask me to sacrifice my son when you said nations would come from him and that so much would be blessed by him? He was a miracle. And just why would you ask this? And maybe he was being strictly obedient, but I know for me, 
that's what would be going through my mind. Like, this doesn't make logical sense. This, you know, this doesn't make logical sense. And, um, it, I mean, the thing is, is the angel didn't stop Abraham till, I mean, right, he pulls the knife up. I mean, so he had to be willing to go, you know, to do it. It wasn't like, I'll test you because you got up early, right? Sometimes do we think that like, like we think, well, I'm, I started going, you know, my heart, you know what I'll do, but no, he waits till the last moment to see how much are you really all in. And I guess the part that we never talk about is afterwards. What was it like when Abraham and Isaac, when the angel came and stopped? What was their conversation as they walked back down the mountain? And how happy, how happy they were. how happy and relieved Abraham must have been, how happy and relieved Isaac must have been. And I just imagine that whenever God asks something of us and we do give our all, that happiness we feel after that, The joy, <laughs> um, I'm sure even, or at least for me, I'd be like, yeah, I was going to, and I'm so thankful. I mean, like that it turned out this way. It doesn't always. But it did, and just the joy that Abraham and Isaac probably had after that. And Isaac knew how much his father loved God and was going to listen and do. And as we talked about sacrifice this week and, and um, you know, of course, the baby girl who's only 10 is like, you know, I hope you guys aren't asked you know, to sacrifice any, like it, it broke her heart thinking if we had to sacrifice something, you know, and it's not, it's looking at it the wrong way, not looking at it as to um, what we're going to be missing out on, right? But it's, wow, this is a way I've become closer to God, to show him I'm all in. And for your love to grow, if, if that relationship isn't there, think about what, what do I need to do to get that relationship there? And again, it's different for everybody. But I think you may be surprised at the answer. Everything isn't all um, negative. Sometimes when we ask to improve, we're kind of like, oh, you know, don't pray for patience because you'll have a horrible experience. <laughs> but what you become is amazing. And I promise it's worth it. So I hope you, uh, you let God know how committed you are, if you want to become more committed, and to build that relationship. Thank you so much. Thank you for listening, and hopefully this is helping someone. Have a wonderful, wonderful day. Thanks.
Thank you so much for watching or listening to my podcast. You can find more podcast or videos at perfectlypattytalks.com or you can search me up on Facebook or Instagram at Perfectly Patty. Thanks again.